Hello, hello. My name is Mackenzie Page, and I'm an implementation specialist here at Evolve. So today we're going to get into uh, spools a little bit. So I have this exercise set up here. And then up here, you'll see our prefabrication panel. So within that, we're going to go ahead and go to define spool. We'll be starting off with sheet number one today. I do want to create my sheets on finish, and I also am going to go ahead and open those sheets. So for the title block drop down, here is where you can make your selection for which family that you'd like to use for your title block. And if you have different types within that family, you can make that selection here. Okay, so the hint on the top left here is to select my elements for sheet one. So I'm doing enter as finish, select my elements for sheet two and enter as finish. And you'll also notice that I have my colorization rule set up here. So that's going to activate anytime I'm defining a new spool. So that way I can just visually see how they're chunked up. Okay, I'm going to escape out of my command. And let's check out how those sheets are populating. All right, so here is how it comes in. So most of this is going to be from the setup end of me setting up my title block exactly how I want it. So I set up these views, I added these compasses, I added my view title text, I even added these lines here. Um, the schedule is also going to be part of that. So let's go ahead and open up the title block and see what we're working with here. All right, so here is how the title block is looking. So here's where you can make all of your edits with your divider lines. Um, you don't even have to have those if you don't want to. You can just have your views come in and then you can add the lines after the fact. Um, same thing with the compasses. It's purely optional. However you want to structure this, it's really your place to customize. So with the Evolve title blocks, where it really shines is going to be this view window. So let me go ahead and expand my properties here. So here is where we're going to have all of the settings to really set this up exactly how we want it to come in. That way we can minimize our manual time um, and we can just focus on the automations there. So you'll also see that our view window is used for the schedules. So the way that all of these view windows are going to work is with this view template. So this is going to be that communication piece between your title block and your destination project. So however I have this view template for EE, BOM in my project, that's what's going to pop up here. So let's go back into my sheet and we can take a look at what's going on there. All right, so this is how my schedule came in. So these are just based on all of the elements within that spool when I was defining my spool. So you'll see that we've got our custom labels here. We've got the description. We've got the length. We've got the count. Um, so all of that is customizable as well. You can add any information. Um, that's a shared or project parameter in here. So if you wanted to take it a step further here, let's say this is exactly how your sheet came in, what would be the manual steps? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to center my 3D view a little bit. All of my information in my title block automatically populated. So what I might want to do next would be to run this element filter that I have here, grab all of my elements that I'm wanting to label with this custom ID, and then I'm going to go to the annotate tab tag all. I'm going to do the uh, multi-category tags here. We're going to add a leader. And this is how they're coming in. So I'm going to clean these up just a little bit. I'm going to drag these out, make them a little more clear. These up here, they've got the right spirit, but we just need to adjust the ends a little bit. So I'm going to point these towards the actual kick. I'm going to drag these off to the side here. And then that's how it's looking compared to the BOM. So you'll see the BOM is really going to be the data centric area of your spool. And then you can have your labels over here. If you wanted to also drop a couple of overall dimensions, you can certainly do that. Then we can center this a little bit. And then from there, you might want to add maybe an elevation, maybe some 
from and to tags for your equipment or continuing pieces. And then that's going to be about it for this sheet. So as you can see, it's very customizable. A lot of this can be automated. So if you've got spoolers drawn in lines, drop in compasses, um, dragging on schedules, um, these title blocks are really going to be a huge weight off.